Anderson. To Baker. And he is, well, it's a foot race. He even outran Darrell Green, although Green was gaining 80 yards. Here's the guy, Stephen Baker. I'll tell you who made a good block. They made Meggett stay in. They try and get Meggett out on that. Meggett had to stay in and block. <laughs> he really got pushed right back into Sims, but he held his own. Watch little Dave Meggett. They're going to make him block. You see? Now, he sticks his head in there, and I'll tell you, he really blocked. He holds Coleman off so that Sims can get rid of the ball. I mean, he ends up back there, but he did the job that he had to do. Bar for the extra point. Hostetler holding. Three plays, 80 yards. A very happy Phil Sims. Kelvin Bryant in the backfield. Looking for Bryant. And picked off by Pepper Johnson. Got a few words for Kelvin. Pepper had something to say about that one. He got, he got fooled in the open field running, but watch here. He's out there. The guy they try and throw to on that situation is Kelvin Bryant out of the backfield. He threw that one right to Pepper Johnson, who had great coverage. 7-3, the Giants lead the Redskins. Tough time getting the engine warmed up. <laughs> Sims for Paparo. Turn it on, Mark. Daryl Green. Yeah, they just waited and waited. You said that Bavaro has been quiet. Then they hit that seam pass. Again, it's going to be right up the middle, right between the hash marks. See him get off the line of scrimmage. Just pull him a little move here, and then right up past Alvin Walton, and a perfect pass by Phil Sim. Now all he has to do is outrun the rest of these Redskins, or any of the Redskins. And if he outran number 28, Daryl Green, you would have a story. I'll tell you one thing about Bavaro. Here at the end, he knows he's going to get caught. Watch him tuck it away. There's no way he's going to lose that one. Reverse coming to Lee Roussan. Who is cut down at about the 12 by Martin Mayhew. First and goal at the 5. Anderson from Sin. The Giants are signaling touchdown, and now the officials do, too, as Bavaro limps off. I'll tell you, the middle of that line, oh, that giant line just took the Redskin defense and just pushed it right back into the end zone. You talk about blocking in the pits. Watch this line of scrimmage move. Watch the blue jerseys just take the white jerseys back. Back, 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 all the way to the goal line, and then a great effort right at the end by O.J. Anderson. Bar for the extra point. And it's 14-6. The Giants get their second touchdown of the day, the only two. 9-10 left to play third quarter, and it's 14-6. Okay. And getting louder. So you can't practice what you're going to play. Sims to throw on first down and has Maurice Carthon. Carthon steps out of the tackle. Here comes Darrell Green. Down at the five is Maurice Carthon. Hey, one thing, there's no one better, I don't care, at throwing seam passes than Phil Sims. They hit different guys in the scene. Just watch this one. We'll just let it go here to start off, and we'll see what a seam pass is. Now, if we can stop it right here, we'll see. Here's the seam right here. You get the defense here. Carthon just runs right up in that seam that is created by the zone defense, and Sims hits him between the corner and the safety. He's done that to Bavaro. 
He's done it to Carthon, and of course we've seen him do it over the years to many, many guys. 63 yards. And a timeout call by the Giants. First and goal from the five. That's Maurice Carthon's longest reception of his career. 14. Gotta be looking at him. And that's what they were looking at. Touchdown, Bavaro. And Bavaro over the years has really not had big games against the the Redskins, but today he's had two big plays in this quarter. Watch him see it's a, it's a play fake, then a bootleg, then he comes out here. Bavaro starts like he's going across, then just works his way out to the right side. You fake the run, then the quarterback bootlegs the other way, then you go ahead by the guy without a helmet. That's an advantage. Bar's extra point is good. good. And it's 21-13, Giants. Watch this. This is a bootleg. Fake to your backs going that way. Go the opposite way. And then have your tight end all alone in the end zone. Third quarter has been good to Bavaro. Three catches for 64 yards and that touchdown. Comes into the backfield. Now out of the backfield. And Humphrey's back to throw it. Picked off by Greg Jackson. Intended for Johnson. That's the play. That's where they're vulnerable. If they're going to be vulnerable, it's in that middle of that double zone. But, of course, those safeties know it, too. Guyton and Jackson. So they know you're going to try and hit them down between the hash marks. So they're always looking for down between the hash marks. So the Giants will take over at their own seven. again and he's not there Lawrence Taylor hey I think they're messing with Taylor too much I think I'd figure out a way to get away from him watch the guy and instinct and read and nose for the ball and hitting and intensity and all those words that's Lawrence Taylor hey, Steve Dias is not bad down here when you're grunting and groaning around the goal line either right they will bring up a... I don't think he made it. It was Riggs, and he's close. This is going to be an interesting call now for Joe Gibbs. If it's short, because he needs two scores anyway, you take the field goal now and then come back, or you go for it on fourth down, and if you don't make it, you still need two scores. You better decide pretty soon. We just think about the last five games between these two. Here's the screen pass coming to O.J. Anderson. Anderson hammers into Redskin territory. And this is the situation Joe Gibbs was talking about and Phil Sims, and he said every time, every time we get ahead, every time we get anything going, Sims comes back on it. You know, he's been doing it all day. Now, now here it is with Otis Anderson. You know, they talk about Otis Anderson too old any more years. This guy still has great moves in him. And as Bill Parcells said yesterday, there is still some gas in his tank. Yeah, I don't know how a guy can play 12 years in this league and move that well. First and 10 at the Redskin, 48. Sims back to throw again. Another screen pass, this time to Carthon. That one is diagnosed very well. Field. Stanley back at the 10. Amy out of bounds. He signals fair catch. And the ball is down at the 1. By who else? Renee Thompson. Now they're saying the They're ball. saying it's the Giants Giant ball. ball. They're saying it hit the Redskin. Stanley tried to get out of the way. Had to hit him. I'll tell you, there's the best special teams player in football, Renee Thompson, number 21. We'll see the ball come down here, and it's going to hit someone right there. You see it hit him right leg. there in the leg. 
Now the ball is a live ball because it hit the Redskins. Now Renee Thompson can recover it. it. Hit Johnny Thomas. You talk about a turning point in a play. What a punt by Sean Landetta and what a coverage by Renee Thompson. So it's first and goal at the one. Anderson and Carthon behind Sims. Anderson scrambles for the end zone. The second effort didn't quite get him there. You know, the funny thing is Clark, who was really whacked from behind. Pass is picked off. By Jackson. That's two for him today. I think the play before, Pat, I think Stan Humphreys was really hurt when Pepper Johnson hurt him, hit him. Then he came back and threw that second interception to Jackson. But I'll tell you, the happiest guy out there is Bill Parcells because he went for that field goal, put the confidence in his defense, then his defense comes up with two plays in a row like this. That was the second down play. Here was the first down play. Watch 52. Pepper Johnson does a spin. He's held. And watch him right here as he hit Humphreys just as he throws it. And that's a big 250 falling on you. Bill Parcells saying, now we got him where we want him. The Giants go to 5-0. There are only two unbeaten teams in the NFL. His team and the 49ers. Some of the Redskins a little too stunned to even go to the locker room. So the Giants hang on. Beat the Redskins 24-20. A thriller. Was not too surprised.